and welcome to Learning with Lisa. In today's video, we are learning all about the plants and animals that live in our forests and woods. While you are watching, do a bit of bird spotting and tell me at the end how many times you see the great spotted woodpecker. First of all, let's find out the difference between a woodland and a forest. Well, they are both areas that have a lot of trees pretty close together. But woodlands are a little bit more open than forests. They have more space between trees and are able to let more sunlight through. Forests, on the other hand, have so many trees all growing close together that it can be quite dark if you walk deep into the forest. When out walking, you are likely to see both coniferous and deciduous trees. Deciduous trees are trees that lose their leaves in winter, often after having changed colour in the autumn. Leaves begin to grow once again in spring as the weather gets warmer and the days get longer. Look at all the amazing different colours. What colours can you see? Coniferous trees are also known as evergreen trees because their leaves or needles stay on all year round. Dead needles will fall to the ground, but the tree will always have leaves or needles. That's why it's called evergreen. Coniferous trees such as spruce, fir and pine all produce seeds in cones and have thin needle-like leaves. A little like a Christmas tree. Some coniferous trees grow very large. Look at the size of this giant redwood. It's huge! The woodland floor is often littered with dead leaves and needles and is a place where dead branches fall. Beetles are often found scurrying around in the base of trees amongst the dead leaves. Apart from trees, you will see other plants and living things. Ferns are plants with feathery green leaves and can be seen in the damp parts of the wood. Lichen can also be found, but this grows on rocks and on the bark of trees. Another plant called moss grows in damp shady places, in tufts or mats on damp ground, tree trunks and rocks. The forest floor is the place where toadstools grow. These are fungi and are not animals or plants, but they are living things. It is believed that there are at least one and a half million different species of fungi and scientists consider them to be more similar to animals than plants. Why not go on a toadstool hunt and see how many different types of fungi you can see? It is really, really important that you do not touch or pick any fungi unless a trusted adult says it's okay, as some are poisonous and can make you very ill. The same applies to any berries you find in the forest. Many different species call the forest or woodland their home. How many different animals can you see? Bats, woodpeckers, squirrels, owls, foxes, deer and badger all live in the woodland habitat. Some are easier to spot than others, as some, such as owl, badger and fox, tend to sleep in the day and come out at night. Here are some creatures that I found when I went to the woods. The badger was very tricky to find, as it didn't come out until it was starting to get dark. Did you know a badger's home is called a set? 
the deer were much easier to see on the edge of the woodland. Forests and woods provide the creatures that live there with everything they need. Shelter, food and protection from other creatures. Shelter is often provided within tree roots, trunks or high up in the branches. Sometimes animals even hide in dead trees. Fruits and nuts found in the forest make a perfect meal, so they don't have to go very far to find food. Squirrels search for acorns. Badgers enjoy eating elderberry fruits. And woodpeckers peck away at pine cones. Deciduous trees don't provide much shelter in the winter because all the leaves are gone from the trees. So animals sometimes store food for the winter or they hibernate. If you want to find out more about hibernating animals, I have a video for you to watch and I will put the link in my description. Sadly, many of our woodlands and forests are shrinking or even disappearing. Trees are being chopped down to make space for new houses, train lines and farming. In some parts of the world, trees are even being chopped down for timber to make furniture and paper. As many animals depend on the forest and woods for places to hide and to find food, we need to do all we can to protect them. So let's find out what we can do. Well, when we go for walks in woody places, we must not pull off tree bark or snap twigs and branches. Insects like to use these places for their homes. These sorts of places make them feel warm and protected. You can also help to reduce the number of trees being chopped down by saving paper. You can do this by not wasting paper. Always use both sides. The less paper you use, the less trees will need to be chopped down. Remember to recycle things like newspaper and other unwanted paper, as this can be reused to make more paper. We've now finished learning all about forests and woods. But let's do the quiz to see how much we can remember. What is a deciduous tree? A tree which loses its leaves. A tree that keeps its needles or leaves. A tree with delicious fruits. A deciduous tree is a tree that loses its leaves. What do we call the green ground cover on the forest floor? Floss, mass, moss. The answer is moss. Which animal enjoys eating elderberries? Badgers? Dogs, rabbits. Badgers enjoy eating elderberries. What is a coniferous tree? A tree that loses its leaves, a tree that keeps its leaves, a tree with delicious fruits. A coniferous tree is a tree which keeps its leaves. Which animal enjoys eating acorns? Dogs, cats, squirrels. Squirrels enjoy eating acorns. Which of these is a threat to the animals that live in the woods? New train lines, 
woodpeckers, beetles. The answer is new train lines. Why must you not pick toadstools unless your trusted adult says it's okay? They make your hands turn red. They might be poisonous. They might sting you. Some toadstools are poisonous. What is a badger's home called? Den, mound, set. A badger's home is called a set. Now you know all about the plants and animals that make our woodlands their home. There are many other habitats to find out about, so please keep a lookout for my other videos. If you enjoyed watching this one, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on all my other videos. By the way, I spotted the woodpecker five times. How about you? Thank you for watching and bye bye for now. Bye.